In 2013, photos of an incredible World War II discovery hit the internet. Apparently, the find had been the work of dedicated metal detectorists somewhere in Russia. But very little additional information was available at the time. In 2017, however, a video of the unearthing emerged on YouTube and it provided fascinating insight into the entire event. The video came courtesy of a YouTube user known as Yuri Gagarin. But although there is a verified tick by Gagarin's name on the site, it's safe to assume that he's not, in fact, the famous pioneering cosmonaut. The real Gagarin is, after all, no longer with us. No, this Gagarin is actually a metal detectorist. Generally speaking, detectorists are like amateur archaeologists. Indeed, they're on the search for artifacts from history and can spend a lot of their spare time looking for them. But some professionals don't think very highly of them at all. In fact, Connecticut State archaeologist Brian Jones told the New York Times in 2017 that detectorists are really just looting. This was because, he argued, a detectorist could take an artifact from a location without considering the significance of its context. Still, not everyone agrees and detectorists have been known to join forces with archaeologists. For Gagarin's part, he explained his intentions on YouTube. We are the official search party, he wrote. We are engaged in the search and burial of the Red Army soldiers who disappeared during the Second World War. He also added that he's strictly an amateur and not doing this for any financial incentives. Gagarin went on to state his ultimate goal with his hobby too. We're looking for fighters and perpetuating the memory of their exploits, he said. He further stated that if he discovered any deceased army soldiers, he and his group would do their best to find out who they were and have them reburied more respectfully. In this particular instance, however, it wasn't the body of a Red Army soldier that someone apparently discovered, and it was unclear exactly when and where this find was supposed to have been unearthed. In the caption to the video, uploaded in November 2017, Gagarin simply said that the clip was recorded by a comrade and that the film had only just been retrieved. The clip starts with a pair of hands digging in the dirt. They could be in a forest or a wood, but wherever they are, it's certainly very dirty. At first glance, the object that the hands are uncovering looks like a skull. But then a few additional details begin to emerge and it becomes clear that it isn't a person at all. One of the group, there appears to be at least three people involved in the discovery, then begins thrusting a spade into the earth. Clearly the artifact beneath isn't fragile. After more digging, the artifact begins to take shape. Certainly there are handlebars and a wheel as well as a headlamp and a gas tank. Yes, the detectorists have apparently discovered a motorcycle. The only thing left to do now is excavate it. First, the hobbyists appear to engage in a debate over the identity of the motorcycle and which year it could have been manufactured in. Then the video cuts to an unspecified amount of time later. And in intervening minutes or hours, it seems the men have been hard at work. So now the best part of the bike is out of the ground, though still stuck in the mud. The bike is pretty fresh, one of the men says. And yes, despite the apparent years underground, the motorcycle does appear to be in remarkably good shape. The men then spend some time in the hole with the motorcycle. They appear to agree that the bike was once a Soviet model, but perhaps one that was not used in combat. All the while, the man recording the video gives the user something of a chore of the aged artifact. The video cuts again, and sometime later, the motorcycle is seen fully excavated from its grave. The cameraman continues to give a tour of the bike, at one point even getting his peers to crack open the glove compartment. Inside, he shows the cameraman various spare parts. The video finishes with the cameraman proudly showing off their apparent discovery. A voiceover tells us that the bike they have here is a DKW Luxus 300. It is a very rare and unique find, according to the person talking. Since the video hit YouTube, it's been viewed almost 3 million times. It has some 20,000 likes too, and hundreds of comments besides. Unfortunately, most of the comments are in Russian and it's therefore difficult to determine whether they shed any future light on events. The cameraman's assertion that the bike is a Luxus 300, however, seems to have been taken as read by those who later reported on the alleged discovery. Unfortunately, though, there doesn't seem to be a great deal of information out there on this particular make of motorcycle. According to Auto Evolution, manufacturer DKW made a deal with Russia so they could build Lexus 300s in Leningrad. But the website stated that the Russians then simply had proceeded to make their own version of the DKW design. It's difficult, however, to verify this information with more authoritative sources. What does appear to be true, though, is that the DKW Luxus 300 was manufactured in about 1930. And according to Hagerty, a mint-conditioned motorcycle of this make and model would go for about $2,500 today. 
it's fair to say mind you that the one that came out of the ground in this video is not in mint condition back on YouTube Yuri Gagarin continues to upload videos of his groups finds there are only four more of his videos more popular than this one however one is about German World War two trenches to involve the apparent discovery of weapons and the last sees the detectorist open a mysterious box so it seems there's no end to what you can discover with a metal detector